Welcome to 5th Canadian Division Support Base Gagetown, the home of the Army. As you'll see during this tour of our base, it's a pretty big operation with a lot of different parts. Back in the early 1950s, the Army was looking for a large training site in eastern Canada, and this is the piece of land they picked. It's the largest military training facility in eastern Canada, and one of the finest in the entire British Commonwealth. One of Base Gagetown's great strengths is its geographical diversity. The terrain here varies from forested hills and open fields to rough mountains and deep valleys cut by rivers and streams. It's a perfect year-round training location for the wide variety of modern military operations and equipment. There's lots of maneuvering room here for tracked and wheeled vehicles of all sizes, from jeeps and trucks to armored personnel carriers, light armored vehicles and tanks. We also have firing ranges for just about any kind of weapon the Army might need to use, including small arms, grenade launchers, mortars, rocket launchers, anti-tank weapons, field artillery and anti-aircraft guns. The effective range of many of these weapons is measured in kilometers, so it takes a lot of space to learn to use them well. Base Gagetown sits adjacent to the town of Oromocto, just a few kilometers south of Fredericton. Oromocto started out as a sleepy little village at the confluence of the Oromocto and St. John Rivers, but it was rebuilt as a modern, designed community when the base was built. Today, the town's population is more than 10,000 people, and about 75% of those are military personnel and their families. So civilian life and military life are closely interwoven here. Hundreds of soldiers and their families live in residential housing units on the town's tree-lined streets. They shop in the town's stores, their kids attend the town's schools, and both military and civilians are routinely involved in all aspects of community activities and municipal government. On the base and in the town, leisure services and recreation facilities, including a golf course and a world-class running track, are used by both military personnel and civilians. More than half of the military personnel posted to Base Gagetown live in other communities in the Oromocto and Fredericton area, and they contribute directly to the economies of those communities. Base Gagetown employs about 1,500 civilians full-time, in addition to some 4,500 military members. That makes the base New Brunswick's second largest public sector employer and its third largest employer of any kind. Clearly, the base has a huge economic impact here, injecting about $230 million a year into the local area economy and some $600 million into the provincial economy. One key aspect of Base Gagetown's mission is its continuing positive connection with Canadians. Our people have always been consistent leaders in charitable giving and key players in a broad range of coordinated, community-based volunteer activities. Through a variety of charitable efforts, the people of Base Gagetown are active supporters of every aspect of the growth and development of their communities. Perhaps the most important mission of Base Gagetown is training. Every Canadian soldier from almost every trade in the Army will spend at least some training time here. That's why this base is known as the Home of the Army. The Combat Training Center, or CTC, at Base Gagetown is the center of excellence for individual training in the Canadian Army. Each year, over 10,000 students from all over the country take courses here. CTC operates specialized training units at numerous other locations across the country, such as Trenton, Kingston, and Borden in Ontario. But the main concentration of training activity is here at Base Gagetown. Training courses conducted at CTC are designed to prepare our soldiers for all of the complex and demanding tasks that can be required of them as members of a modern operational army. Usually, a course starts by teaching basic skills in the classroom and then moves out into the training area to practice those skills and test them in field exercises. There are five training schools in CTC at Base Gagetown. The Royal Regiment of Canadian Artillery School, the Royal Canadian Armoured Corps School, the Infantry School, the Canadian Forces School of Military Engineering, and the Tactics School. The first four schools teach the basic training courses for their specialties, as well as advanced courses for both officers and non-commissioned members. The Tactics School conducts advanced tactical and combined arms training for all Army officers. The Royal Regiment of Canadian Artillery School gives basic and advanced courses in all aspects of air defense and field artillery. They deal with heavy-duty weapons, from guided missiles to howitzers, and their constant focus is operational effectiveness. 
Canada's state-of-the-art air defense and artillery weapons are complex machines, and they have to be kept in top working order. So maintenance personnel are trained here too, right alongside their operator counterparts. The Royal Canadian Armoured Corps School, first formed in 1936 as the Canadian Tank School, is an independent unit responsible for individual training in all aspects of wheeled and tracked armoured fighting vehicles and their armament. Reconnaissance and direct fire are two key areas of concentration. The school also provides an advanced gunnery instructor course for both regular and reserve soldiers. The infantry school is responsible for all basic infantry leadership training. It also conducts all of the infantry's advanced and specialty courses, including master sniper courses and courses for sniper detachment commanders and small arms instructors. This school prepares officers to lead Canadian soldiers in land operations, including combat, and teaches many of the specific skills needed by our soldiers on foreign deployments, including urban operations and patrolling. The Canadian Forces School of Military Engineering conducts individual training in military engineering for regular and reserve personnel of all ranks. All career courses for field engineers, heavy equipment operators, and construction engineering trades are taught here. Every year, more than 3,000 military and civilian employees of the federal government attend the challenging courses provided by this school. The Tactics School trains soldiers from all branches of the Army. Most junior officers in the Army take the Army Tactical Operations course, but only selected majors and senior captains take CTC's premier tactics course, the Combat Team Commanders course. Although the tactics school's main effort is the development of future leaders, the school also includes unique capabilities provided by the counter-improvised explosive device section and the Army Learning Support Center. Finally, the school also supports the Area Simulation Center. Today's soldiers get the most up-to-date training available while we develop even better ways to train the soldiers of tomorrow. In order for any Army to operate effectively, it must have equipment that works properly when it's needed. Any new piece of equipment that the Army acquires has to be thoroughly examined and tested before it's put into service to make sure that it's suitable for the job it's intended to do. That quality control work is done by another group that's part of CTC at Base Gagetown, the Canadian Army Trials and Evaluation Unit. Every piece of gear the Army uses gets the once-over from the well-trained hands and eyes in this unit. In addition to the schools of the Combat Training Center, there's another training organization at Base Gagetown. It's called the 5th Canadian Division Training Centre, and it conducts courses focused on leadership and soldier qualification. Unlike schools that concentrate on requirements for specific military disciplines, such as armour or artillery, this training centre gives career-oriented courses focused on leadership and promotion qualifications for soldiers of all specialties in both regular and reserve units throughout Atlantic Canada. About a third of Base Gagetown's 4,500 soldiers belong to operational units. These are Army field forces that are deployed at home and abroad, serving their country and the international community with pride and distinction. There are five of these operational or lodger units. 2nd Battalion, the Royal Canadian Regiment, 4 Engineer Support Regiment, 4th Artillery Regiment, General Support, Royal Canadian Artillery, C Squadron, the Royal Canadian Dragoons, and 403 Helicopter Operational Training Squadron. 2nd Battalion, the Royal Canadian Regiment, or 2RCR, is a mechanized infantry battalion and the largest land force unit in Atlantic Canada. It's equipped with light armored vehicles, making it the Canadian Army's premier mechanized infantry battalion. The battalion is trained for both mechanized and dismounted operations and has carried out assignments around the world, including both world wars, the Korean conflict and numerous deployments to Cyprus, Bosnia, Eritrea, Haiti and Afghanistan. The Royal Canadian Regiment has been closely associated with the Fredericton area since its formation in 1883. Part of the original garrison can still be seen at Officer Square in Fredericton. The 2nd Battalion was raised for service in the South African War, making it the first unit of the Canadian Army to serve outside the country. A lot of its current work involves support to other units at Base Gagetown and to reserve units and cadets throughout Atlantic Canada. As the only regular force infantry battalion stationed in Atlantic Canada, its soldiers can be called upon to assist in such local efforts as searches for lost persons, ceremonial duties and guards of honour, and to provide necessary support to civilian authorities during natural or man-made crises. 
4 Engineer Support Regiment, or 4 ESR, provides engineering support to the Canadian Army both at home and abroad. This regiment is sometimes called upon for help during floods or other emergencies in Canada and around the world. They've been deployed to far-flung locations from California to Croatia, from Winnipeg to Rwanda, from Afghanistan to Haiti, doing everything from mine clearing to search operations and construction jobs. 4th Artillery Regiment General Support Royal Canadian Artillery is the general support artillery unit for the Canadian Army. The unit provides small unmanned aerial vehicle, radar and airspace coordination to each of Canada's three mechanized brigade groups, as well divisional level fire support coordination, airspace coordination and artillery planning to one Canadian division headquarters. Now centralized at Base Gagetown, 4th Artillery Regiment General Support makes a vital contribution to the command and control of the Canadian Army and to Canadian operations at home and abroad. C Squadron is the tank squadron for the Royal Canadian Dragoons. The squadron is equipped with Leopard 2 tanks. C Squadron's mission is to support the Canadian Army's readiness and modernization through the conduct of individual training and the maintenance of assigned Centre of Excellence responsibilities. 403 Helicopter Operational Training Squadron is equipped with a fleet of Griffin Utility Tactical Transport Helicopters. It provides aviation support at Base Gagetown and conducts operational helicopter flying training. The squadron has also been called upon during domestic crises, such as floods, and for foreign assignments, such as the Afghanistan deployment. 403 Squadron has the only Griffin simulator in the world so it provides annual refresher training for all of Canada's Griffin pilots. All of the operational units at Base Gagetown conduct training courses and exercises year-round, not just to maintain their own high state of readiness for deployment, but also to support the training schools of the Combat Training Centre at Gagetown. Whether conducting operations abroad or flood relief at home, any Army needs the best possible information about the weather. Canada's Army gets that from the Joint Meteorological Centre at Base Gagetown. Expert meteorologists and technicians here use the latest technology to provide the kinds of weather information needed to support the Army's training operations and exercises, both locally and nationally. In fact, the Joint Meteorological Centre here is the centre of excellence for meteorological matters across all branches of the Canadian Armed Forces. There are three larger units playing vital roles in the health and welfare support structure at Base Gagetown. 42 health services, one dental unit, and joint personnel support unit. The first two units offer all medical and dental care to military personnel on the base, while the joint personnel support unit provides transition services for those who are ill or injured. An operation as big and diverse as Base Gagetown requires a capable and extensive support system to look after it. At Base Gagetown, the main component of that support system is 5th Canadian Division Support Group. As the name implies, this group provides support to all military and civilian personnel at Base Gagetown and to all of the training programs at the base. These are the people who ensure that everyone gets proper housing, feeding and equipment repair. And they do this not just at Base Gagetown, but also throughout the Atlantic area. 5th Canadian Division Support Group has six main branches. Personnel Support Services, Operations Services, Technical Services, Signal Squadron, Engineer Services and Corporate Services. With both military and civilian staff, the Personnel Support Services branch provides all services related to the support and welfare of military members and their families. This includes food services, accommodations, second language training, chaplain services and education and career counselling. This branch also provides many amenities, some of which are shared with the civilian community, the Gage Golf and Curling Club, for example. There's also a fully equipped fitness facility and a military family resource centre, with programmes designed to enhance the lives of military families and help them cope with the unique stresses of military life. The Operations Services Branch looks after the day-to-day -day operation of all the support services provided by 5th Canadian Division Support Group. Its key organizations include Range and Training Area Management Section, Range Control, Fire Services and Military Police. 
The Range and Training Area Management section does all the planning and management work for range facilities and infrastructure at Base Gagetown and throughout Atlantic Canada. The safe and efficient operation of all the ranges and training areas at the base is the work of range control. Both military and civilians use these areas, so range control has to make sure recreational users stay clear of areas where they might conflict with military activity. Our training area is licensed for a wide variety of weapons and ammunitions, so it's a dangerous place, and scheduling and access have to be handled with great care. Operations Branch also provides all units with environmental advice and assistance. The Canadian Army takes its environmental responsibilities very seriously, so we're constantly upgrading our systems and finding new and better ways to minimize the environmental impact of the work we do here. We've developed a strategic environmental direction a strategy that will allow our base to continue training world-class soldiers while making our military activities environmentally sustainable. The Technical Services Branch is the single largest section of 5th Canadian Division Support Group. Its job is to give technical service support to all units of Base Gagetown and to advise them on general matters of safety. This branch has three main parts, Transportation Company, Supply Company and Maintenance Company. Transportation company moves passengers and cargo, distributes mail, refuels vehicles, plows snow, and teaches safe driving courses. Supply company is the source for all items purchased for use by Base Gagetown and all regular force, reserve, and cadet units in the maritime provinces. It also runs an ammunition depot with a large quantity and wide variety of explosive munitions with well-trained specialist soldiers who also handle military explosive ordnance disposal for all military and civilian authorities in both New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island. Maintenance Company makes sure that all of Base Gagetown's electronic and mechanical devices, including more than 2,000 motorized vehicles, are in top working order. With 350 military and civilian personnel, it's the Army's largest maintenance outfit. The Signal Squadron specializes in information technology, information systems and communications support for Base Gagetown and military installations throughout Atlantic Canada. In addition to service and maintenance of about 10,000 computers, this squadron maintains hundreds of kilometers of communications cable and other essential infrastructure. It also provides communications training and support for Army units deployed both at home and abroad. One of the most important tools available to the commander of 5th Canadian Division Support Group is 5 Engineer Services Unit. These are the people who design, build, maintain and manage all of Base Gagetown's roads, buildings and utility systems. With the base's 700 buildings, 1,500 kilometers of roads, 900 kilometers of rough tracks for armored and tracked vehicles, 46 kilometers of sewage lines, and 9 kilometers of tunnels, all spread over 1,100 square kilometers of land, there's lots of work to do. The support group's corporate services branch is the business end of the Army. It is responsible for providing financial services for all of Base Gagetown and performs all of the long-term planning functions to support the future development and activity of all the units at the base. Adjacent to Base Gagetown's main garrison area is the Argonaut Army Cadet Summer Training Center, home of the Atlantic Region's annual Army Cadet Camp. Every summer, about 1,400 cadets come here to get first-hand experience of military life and training in a fun and challenging environment. The leadership and other skills they acquire help them become confident and productive adults. Since its official opening in 1958, and now into the 21st century, the scope and content of the training programs at Base Gagetown have steadily grown and evolved, changing with the times to reflect the growth and evolution of Canada's modern armed forces. We take great pride in our people and our facilities here at 5th Canadian Division Support Base Gagetown, pride in the quality of our work and pride in the roles we play in military and community life in New Brunswick.